In this tutorial, I'll be sh uh, showing you how to create a nice glowing text effect like this or like this. Um, I got the idea for this tutorial from a Photoshop tutorial, and I'll leave a link to that uh, in the description. I don't follow that tutorial exactly, um, but I did get the general idea for it um, from that tutorial. So go ahead and open up a new image, and grab your gradient or blend tool, and make sure your foreground color is on black, and your background color is on this kind of turquoisey black, uh, dark turquoise color. Uh, here's the HTML notation, 121CLE. Make sure your gradient is on FG to BG. Uh, just make sure that black is at the top and the uh, turquoise, uh, the dark turquoise is at the bottom. Then get, get your uh, text tool, make sure your foreground color is on white, and choose whatever font you want. I'm using be uh, Bell MT Bold, and then just type in your text. I recommend typing in all caps. Now right click on your text and select alpha to selection, then go to select, shrink, shrink the selection by one, and then press delete on your keyboard. And then select. And now what we need to do is stack up the text and um, rotate it so it gets that kind of um, layered kind of squiggly effect. Um, so to do that just make sure you're on your text layer. Press the duplicate button in your layers dialog, which is this uh, icon in the bottom of your layers dialog that looks like two images stacked on top of each other. Just press that. Then get your move tool, and I'm just going to move um, this layer over a bit like this. And just continue doing that pretty much. Um, and you can also rotate your text using the rotate tool um, to get a nice effect. And now once you're finished with that, um, it should look something like this. And um, just hide your background layer, and to hide a layer, just press the eye icon next to the layer you want to hide. Then go to Image, Merge Visible Layers, and then just press Merge. Now you just have one, uh, just one giant layer. And then just duplicate that layer once and go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to blur, uh, blur my image or that layer by about 5. And now you just have some nice glowing text. And you can also lower the opacity to around 70 for the glow. Now make a new layer and get your paintbrush tool and just get a pretty fuzzy brush. Then just choose a kind of bluish color. I have this turquoise blue color. You don't have to use these colors, but these are the colors I'm using. So I'm just going to paint across the bottom like that, and then just set the layer mode onto Overlay. Then create another new layer. And I'm just going to get a pinkish color. And I'm going to be painting across that middle section. And set that layer mode onto Overlay. Then create another new layer. And I'm choosing a yellowish color. And painting across the top. And then setting this layer mode onto overlay again. So um, if you'd like, you can grab your eraser tool. And if you can tell, I kind of have some yellow up here that kind of, um, you can kind of erase that if you'd like. If you don't really like how it affects the background color. Um, now what we need to do is create that kind of grid effect. So make a new layer above the background layer. And set your foreground and background color on black and white. And then go to filters. Render, uh, Pattern, uh, Checkerboard. And you can adjust the size however you want, but um, I'm just going with the size of 40. And then select OK. Then go to Filters, Edge Detect, Edge. And for Algorithm, I selected Gradient, and then Amount to, and then Smear. Then go to Colors, Color to Alpha. And make sure your color in this color box is on black. And then select OK. Then um, just kind of zoom out and get your perspective tool, click on the layer, and now just watch how I, um, you can always, you know, mess around with this, but I'm going to be dragging the bottom two knobs out like this, and then drag the top two knobs down to about near the bottom of your text, a little up, something like this. 
So you can always adjust this however you want, but that's what I'm going to be doing. And just um, set this layer mode onto overlay and duplicate it about two times. Now um, merge your, um, you have two layers containing text, which is the blurred layer and then the uh, not blurred layer. And go ahead and merge those two layers together and then duplicate that layer and then get your flip tool. Make sure your flip type is on vertical. Click the layer and then get your move tool and move the flipped, oops, move the flipped layer down so about like this and we're just creating a reflection of your text. So move it down so it's kind of meeting the bottom of the original text. Then right click on the duplicated layer and select add layer mask and get your gradient tool or your blend tool. Make sure foreground color is on black and get the gradient FG to transparent. Then just starting from the bottom just stroke up until you're satisfied with how that looks. Um, and then that's how you can create a nice reflection. And then um, if you'd like, I'm going to apply a kind of perspective to this so it kind of follows our grid. So I'm going to right click on the text, uh, the, uh, the reflection, and then select apply layer mask. Then I'm going to grab my perspective tool, click on the layer. And then that's pretty much the whole effect.